Welcome to Urdhva, a podcast about rising higher in life towards evolved consciousness by utilizing the teachings of Bhagavad Gita and Vedic literatures. Each episode, friends, we deliver deep accurate insights from Shri Krishna's message to eliminate all negative mind patterns and taste natural bliss of self and love of the divine. Welcome to the new episode of Urdhva podcast on Bhagavad Gita. We are exploring the five principles and in this episode we will go deeper into the Ishvara principle. So for this we have to understand the concept of the complete whole. Complete whole means an experience. In our day-to-day life we try to become complete, we try to become whole and that is called well-being. There is a whole industry of well-being. How to feel complete, how to feel whole. But also there is this capitalistic endeavor of pushing advertisements. Add this new iPhone 14 to your life or add this product, that product, you will feel complete. But alas, it is like drinking salt water. No amount of new products, no amount of luxury, no amount of relationship we add will make us feel complete and whole. We are already complete and whole. The nature, we have to go back to a true pure nature. Because if you see what is an organic food, it is called a complete food. Like a black rice or a brown rice is a complete food without removal of it, without distorting it. Similarly, our consciousness, we have to go back to the original consciousness. When we were created pure, when we were pure, but now we have developed so many layers which is increasing our uh, our needs, which is increasing our craving and we go on adding new and new things and make our life complex, unwholesome, incomplete and sink into depression. So that is where friends, Bhagavad Gita will come to your aid to increase your well-being by feeling complete and whole. How is that? Understand the complete whole, the absolute truth, God, Shri Krishna is the complete whole. Understand that complete whole and feel that you are originally part of that complete whole because of the uh, misinstructions or misguidance of the mind. We have deviated from that and now I identify (coughs) myself with the body, with the country I am born, with the language I speak, with the color of the skin. And this will make us more and more incomplete. So identification will make us incomplete. Return back to your spiritual, eternal, timeless identification, deathless identification that I am the part of truth. I am part of Shri Krishna, the complete whole. So the complete whole has five components as you already seen, the supreme controller, the control living entities, the cosmic manifestation, the eternal time kala and the karma or the activities. These five combined together with the complete absolute truth is the complete personality of God at Shri Krishna. And when you feel, start becoming aware that you are an amsha of that. Complete whole means nothing is outside it. So nothing is outside Shri Krishna. Everything he is, him and his energies. That is the teaching of the Bhagavad Gita. All manifestations are due to his different energies. He is the complete whole. When you intrinsically become aware of this knowledge and start thinking in that way, that I am a part and parcel of Shri Krishna, so you start feeling becoming complete, whole, the craving subside, uh, inner well-being, uh, inner fullness uh, dawns and then you want to share love and serve the universe. So that is a wonderful feeling, friends. So let's try to understand more properties of this complete whole Shri Krishna so that we identify and experience true well-being. One of the other properties is impersonal Brahman. So what is impersonal Brahman? It is like the sun and its rays. The sun is distributing its light to our, throughout the universe, towards the cosmos. Similarly, God has his rays. Sri Krishna has his personal bodily effulgence rays called Brahman. Brahmanohi Pratishta. I am the origin of Brahman, he says. And that Brahman is subordinate to the complete Supreme Person. Right, that is a very important. It is the shining rays of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. 
and in the 15th chapter of bhagavad gita he claims himself as purushottama and both the paramatma principle and the impersonal brahman is uh, is dependent on purushottama purushottama is the origin hence the supreme personality of god at purushottama is called satchit ananda vigra three attributes sat is eternity chit is full of perfect knowledge and ananda is full bliss when these three are there in us we start feeling complete whole a part of the complete whole is also complete so friends that is the reason when you identify with the complete whole and you are part of that complete whole you start feeling wholeness in life and brahma samhita matches maps this each of the attributes of the supreme to this three uh, well being attributes what is that impersonal brahman has the sat ad- attribute sat means eternal existence the effulgence has eternal existence aspect and that effulgence is there everywhere as underlying ray layer whole planets are floating at on brahman paramatma is a localized representation paramatma realization it it adds two things sat and chit it is cognizant it is aware it is paramatma is sitting in every one of our heart is a localization of the supreme and then the supreme has a personality aspect where he is in his abode shri krishna the personality of god it so sat chit and ananda the personality has all the three aspects sat chit and ananda paramatma has only sat and chit brahman has only sat so with this knowledge let's begin our journey to feel that i am the complete whole start identifying with the complete whole shri krishna start identifying as his amsha as a spot and parcel and then you feel your life empowered feel your life the fullness will experience hari krishna friends let's come back to the next episode to go further deeper thanks for listening hari krishna hari bol